thanks for joining me for our 24th installment of where I'm from. Buick will be joining me in a moment. Um, it is hot here in Los Angeles, as you can tell from my attire. And what else is going on? Uh, I My child had a play last night that I very much enjoyed, and they did a wonderful job. And I am still basking in the glow of it being over. <laughs> when our children work hard on something and they successfully complete it, it is a wonderful feeling. I think it may be a, a more wonderful feeling than when I successfully complete something. It, it actually, it definitely is. To think about it for 20 seconds. It's definitely a more satisfying feeling. And I can celebrate them better than I can celebrate myself. Hello! Hi. How are you? I'm so great. How are you? I'm good. It's so good to meet you in this way. I know. I feel like we've been... <laughs> We've been fans of one another's I existences agree. for a couple of years. Yeah, yeah. It's like, oh, um, h- here we are, and this this counts as meeting, I think, for it me. Does. Although Lovely. meeting in person would be even would be better. It will happen. It will. It will. It will. People fly through L.A., and I'm going to meet two people in person in the next couple months because they're coming through LA or have a conference or an event or something in LA. So I'm very excited. It's like, uh, yeah, it's fun. Like making plans. I don't know. It feels like I, I'm not going to come up with a good metaphor right now, but it's like meeting your pen pal. It's wild. I know. Normally in non COVID times, we tour through LA at least once a year, but it does seem like long ago, but (laughs) but that was reality. But but maybe sometime soon. <laughs> yes, so your next tour, I will come see you. Awesome. That, that's a promise. Um, so is there anything else you'd like to say or cover before you begin? Um, just to people I've never met. Hi, I'm Buick Adra. Um, yes. Allison, thank you for asking me. And to everybody, I ask for grace. I'm a very nervous speaker mm-hmm. and reader. I'm not, um, I've had stage fright all my life, and this is kind of a stage, so... <laughs> I heard you say that on, a, on another um, on another live, I think, and I was so astonished because you you don't appear to be nervous. You're you know you're very well spoken and composed, and you um, so it's it's interesting how we just assume that because someone's doing something well, it comes easily to them. Yeah, but that's not it's always the case. True. Well, thank you for saying that because I'm sweating right through my clothes, but. <laughs> But I can't see that. Yeah, right. It's what, <laughs> what they don't know. Yeah. Exactly. Um, but no, that's it. Just thanks for having me. This is such a cool series. And it really, gave, it took me three weeks to write this poem. I started writing mm-hmm. it right when you asked me. And um, I don't write a lot of poetry, but I have been a songwriter all my life. And they're, mm-hmm. I feel like they're cousins, you know? Uh, yes. Um, so yeah, it was a nice challenge for myself. So thank you. Oh, good. <laughs> I'm so I'm so glad you're here. I'm excited to hear you read it. Cool. Shall I? Shall I go, go for it? Okay. Where I'm from. I'm from things I didn't get to choose, like mango groves and southern roots, the latter of which I found out by looking online. I'm from water ballet in Pelican Lake. My cousin Air was the other long legs. Our grandmother couldn't quite see us, so we danced for her ears. I'm from many church basements in the suburbs of Boston small styrofoam cups and hot bitter coffee. I sat with the other kids who knew all the steps by heart. I am from forest green platforms with gills like the car, owned by my Aunt Nancy, kindred from the start. She still says, I'm proud of you, Bew, each time that we speak. I'm from courage one minute and fear in the next, the twist in the back, the ache in the neck. I'm from sorry when I haven't done anything to be wrong. I'm from sunshine so bright the brain can't adjust, from lizards and banyan trees, southeastern gusts. The air and the palms call me back, but I rarely go. I'm from harmonies sung by my mom and her sister, from ego that injures and claims not to miss her. It's none of my business, but I feel it there under my skin. I'm from 10 Preble Gardens and Chicago Point Road, Old 147th and Coconut Grove, a quilt of locations I've been stitching all of my life. 
I'm from Buick and Bowie, or Bowick and Bew, from lessons in love and just who is who, alike and so very different, my brother and me. I'm from choirs and girls and French braids in dresses, from what friendship means outside of our tresses, the sounds of our voices as they became one for a time. I'm from words and guitar parts and wild disappointment, from jealousy, hurt, and quick bursts of enjoyment. The balance is one I don't strike, but I ride on two wheels. I'm from punk clubs and venues, obsessed with dead men. I don't care much now, and I didn't care then. I have looked all my years for the women and held up their light. I'm from melodies, mine and the ones that are sent, from loud rigs and rhythms that aim to offend. I carry the pressure of all the females who were first. I'm from what I inherited and what I did not. I belong to myself. I own what I've got. The blood and the bone and the rasp of my one given voice. As the narratives grow and the characters fade, I stand by the music and choices I've made. It is the work of my life to be fine with who I have been. <laughs> I managed not to cry. <laughs> me too. <laughs> Which is an accomplishment <laughs> for me um, and you. I find it hard sometimes when I'm speaking something vulnerable not to cry. Same. Um, and I get self-conscious a bit. Oh, God, I'm going to cry. Um, <laughs> so beautiful, obviously. Um, and so many things that I'm listening and thinking, okay, I want to say that. But the first one that really uh, got me was the other kids who know the steps by heart. Um, because I... I'm an Al-Anon member and I have been Same. to many meetings um, <laughs> where there's daycare or night care or, you know, child care. And so I, I, and those kids do form their own bond, yeah. you know, separate from their parents. So that was really like, and I, I don't know if I've heard anyone really talk about that, but that's a really sacred space too. So I thought I appreciate so that. sacred. And, and it's funny cause I, you know, I was also raised in a religion. I was raised in the Catholic church. I'm not a member now, but I don't even include it because mm -hmm. it doesn't even feel like a part of my, mm -hmm. my DNA. Mm -hmm. But um, growing up in the rooms of 12 step recovery programs and having those steps and those recitations and just that energy, that sort of collaborative spiritual energy mm -hmm. in my childhood is very much something I'm from. And now I'm a, you know, I'm a proud Alan on member today, mm -hmm. but um, having that as a child was really, I feel very lucky that I got mm -hmm. to hear those words and see that, that brand of courage mm -hmm. present there. That's a lovely way to put it. Um, <laughs> yeah. Um, and then, oh, I'm going to blink. So tell me about no, your, okay. it'll come up later, but um, what was, <laughs> so it took you three weeks. Did you, um, is it because you were ruminating or what, why was that? Um, there were some phrases that didn't make it mm. that felt like I was trying to include something that isn't actually included. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I don't know if mm -hmm. you ever go through that with writing where you mm. are like, I feel like I should, you know, I kind of should mm -hmm. myself into a space and then I'm like, no, it's not actually true though. So, <laughs> Did you feel that way with Catholicism or did you just know? No, that's not. No, I just knew that that, yeah. wasn't, um, <laughs> that wasn't making the draft. <laughs> It's funny because I wasn't raised Catholic, but my brothers and my father were. And so it did make it a tiny bit in because it was this sort of sheen of thing. Like it does sort of, you f it, it, it has a, it has a bomb radius or whatever that's called, you know, where the bombs <laughs> dropped and like the, it, 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 it goes outward from there. And I feel like I was in there somewhere, yeah. you know? Yep. Um, and um, I also appreciated the, I mean, I appreciate all of it, but things that jumped out at me, um, you saying it calls you, but you rarely go back. Um, I, I have that relationship to so many things where it, it is this sort of presence it's there, but, but it's not who I am now, which yeah. is how I, how I read, how I read that and perceived that to be like, yes, that is something, but yeah. that's not my life now. And it does call me back. I'm from Miami originally. And, um, what a beautiful place and um, culture, bunch of cultures and mm -hmm. environment, but it also is where I'm from. And mm -hmm. so it, it has my story woven into that. And 
it isn't just like jump on a plane and go to Miami mm. for me. You know, it's, it's mm -hmm. a different journey, but yeah, it was interesting to write this. I, when I, when you asked me to do it, the first lines in the poem are the first ones I actually wrote, you know, I'm from things I didn't get to choose because that's something that I am writing about quite a bit mm -hmm. right now in my life. This um, honoring what I got, mm -hmm. what sort of came with my life, you know, and, and as young people, um, and I think about this so much with the kids that are around me in my life. I don't have children, but I have lots of nieces and nephews and mm -hmm. just honoring what's true for children that they're not actually selecting for themselves. Um, and, and not making that theirs to carry when possible, mm -hmm. you know? So that mm -hmm. was where I started, which was interesting. And I was like, is it too negative to say that I'm <laughs> from something I didn't choose first? But I was like, no, it's actually my truth. And it's exactly true for where I am right now. And I feel like the best I can ever do is just write from where I am now. Mm -hmm. It will change, mm -hmm. it will move. If I wrote this poem a month from now, maybe a different thing would start it, but it's where I, I agree with that. I and I think it's so empowering to do that. I love that line too. Lena said she loved that. I, what a powerful way to Thanks start, to you know, like we know where we're going with this poem with that line, you know, mm -hmm. like, okay, we're going to explore this. It's not going to be just like, I ate these treats and I hung out with my Nana. Yeah. And, you know, it all went really well. <laughs> <laughs> so just be ready. Um, which, <laughs> um, but I think the, I would never write anything if I was trying to write for the future because of course we're going to evolve and change. And I think that's what kept me from writing personal essays or memoir for so long. Cause I felt like, Oh, well, I don't want to be embarrassed about where I used to be as opposed to like, that's part of who I am where I used to be. There's, there shouldn't be shame in it, but I still had such a, such an intimate relationship with shame that I had a difficult time. <laughs> She's right here with me now all the time. <laughs> Sorry yeah. to separate myself from that and be like, okay, there is value in this now. Yeah. This person now has value, not well, the person and, someday, and not work, just that person. You know, my, my real body of work, my history of work is in music. And I look back at the music that I wrote at different chapters. And sometimes I'm like, Ooh, you know, right. I, I feel that sort of like, oh no, you know, that's not who I am anymore. <laughs> and my forthcoming album, it actually speaks to that. It's called mm -hmm. Conversations with My Other Voice, where I'm talking to that other person that I used to be in the record. Um, but there's so much value in hearing her now, mm -hmm. you know, even though mm -hmm. I'm not her today, and sometimes I truly can't relate. It, it is such a living record of my existence on earth. And I'm grateful for it because I was telling the truth then. Mm -hmm. And it just doesn't line up with the truth today. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's okay. You know, I yeah. once heard um, Barbara Kingsolver say, um, there are readers for every writer I have been. Mm -hmm. And so whenever I feel weird about that, I just remember like all these versions of ourselves and the work that we make exist for the people that mm -hmm. the work finds. <laughs> no, that's a really beautiful way of putting it. I mean, not surprisingly from her, but um, <laughs> <laughs> I also thought of, you were talking about selves that you felt like, oh, you needed to include and then you got over it. I, mm -hmm. I found, I have found in writing personal work that there is like this piece in me that's like, oh, that's not true. That's not yeah. right. That's me trying to perform what I think people expect or what I may even expect of myself. Oh, sure. Um, sure. And that that is one of the unexpected joys of writing personal work is knowing myself better, knowing what's really in there not yeah what i'm saying is in there but what's really in there so yeah. um so applaud it, applause for <laughs> continuing you know cuz one of the things that fascinates me about this prompt and this poem is how many of the multitudes we contain of versions of this poem yes yes and the versions that i've heard so far in your series are stunning and i i was like you know, I always go back to worthiness and unworthiness. I was like, I don't know if I'm the right man mm -hmm. for the job, you know, kind mm -hmm. of <laughs> but, mm -hmm. but um, that's okay too. And it was, you are it, the right woman for the job. <laughs> thank you. Let me, let me just say it so you can hear it. You are. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> and, and it was interesting because not to, not to circle back to our private messages, but when you mm -hmm. asked me, you were like, I'm going to send you some prompts. And I thought, great. And so I went and I wrote, <laughs> 
while I wait for those prompts, I'm going to sort of dig around in the garden of what, what I'm thinking about. And so I wrote those first couple lines and then I thought, well, you know, and then I would write a couple more, you know, a couple days later, just as something would come through my mind. And then I just never got the prompts and I'd written the whole thing by the end of yes, it. And I was like, you well. never got the prompts. <laughs> that is accurate. Um, I, I usually send them right away for that reason. Because otherwise okay. it gets buried in the ether. Yeah. You know, and it's just like, so I try to send them right away for that reason. You're, you're like, I don't think you've sent me the prompts. And I went back through it because I was like, no, I must have. I also went you know? back and I was like, maybe I did get them and I just never opened that email. <laughs> you absolutely did not get them. You know what I mean? Um, <laughs> like, all sorts of stuff happens over here. <laughs> yeah. No, you absolutely didn't get them. So what's amazing is it feels like you did. Like, Great. that's what's so interesting about it, you know, it, and I think that shows the power of the poem, the original poem and the prompts, like, it's very inclusive. And when people say, Oh, can I break the rules of like, you can break all the rules you want. Like, I I'm not some kind of an arbiter. I, broke I don't the rules because I still haven't seen them. Friends. Right. You don't know the rules, <laughs> which is, which is sort of like a good analogy for childhood, just to take mm -hmm. it back to um, the original, like, um, line of your poem. Like yeah. I'm breaking rules. What? I mean, what are the rules? I don't know the yeah. rules. Um, yeah. So well, you're welcome for that uh, mess up that that, <laughs> that actually affects your creative process. Um, but it's I was interesting. Like, well, this seems like a complete poem, and now it's done. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yes, and it was, and you were like, "Oh, this is okay." It's like, yes, it's brilliant. Of course, it's okay. Um, awesome. But to speak to that sort of imposter syndrome, like, am I the right woman for the job? So the vast majority, everyone almost who's come here and shared a poem is like, is this okay? Am I okay? Yeah. And, and for me, it's like, just so I love being the person who's like, it's great. You're yeah. great. You're good. at Please, doing that. <laughs> Please come and share. <laughs> like I, because that's what it is. That's the point of this. Yeah. It's not about the quality I don't like that word that's why I'm putting it in quotes it's about being here and sharing a piece of yourself and just that's it yeah you know? the exchange yeah. yeah and they're brilliant and they're wonderful and 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 I have such a I've had such a hang up about I'm not a poet I could and, and really almost everyone has that hang up except for yeah. the actual poets who've joined me <laughs> Yeah, you've that. had some very legit poets. <laughs> they um, do not have that. But everyone else is like, I don't know. I'm not a poet. I'm like, join the club. Yeah. I don't. I don't I'm not. Um, yes. Right. Yeah, I'm I am a songwriter, about... like I said. Yes, but, you um, are. But poems, I have written poems over the course of my life, but they aren't where I stop first. That's not the, that's not the door yeah. I open first, typically. Me neither. Yeah, no. and, and I definitely received early feedback of like, I don't think you're serious enough for this, you know, and so no. I totally internalized <laughs> that like, oh, you're right. I'm not like, yeah. I am not a serious writer. You know, I can't, I think it's very hard to inhabit that space as a, if you're not just like a white cis straight man, like that oh, I'm yeah, serious enough, spaces. Yeah, you know, mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, no, I'm not spaces. serious enough. <laughs> yes, when you, you're up against that. And I think you share so powerfully about your experiences and I love how you just like give zero f's about it because I think that's that's the uh the ultimate frontier right like this I is my experience many f's um well, I sure. used to really worry about it <laughs> how do you not but now it's like I almost feel like I am saying it for the person I am now but I'm also saying it for the women I've been and um who didn't say it then you know, and um, yeah, it's there's a lot to be up against if you're not a cis white um, man. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, I talk about a lot about being a woman in the national music system, which, you know, there are gifts as well. And there are amazing people yes, as well. I don't course. mean to make a, a, an entirely difficult picture, but sorry, that's my cat trying to break in. Um, <laughs> but it is a challenge. And I, I don't see the benefit of pretending it's not. I, I do mm -hmm. get the vibe sometimes that people are like, all right, already, we know there's sexism. And I'm, usually those people are not in it. And, mm -hmm. you know, I'm like, if you don't want to hear about it, don't listen. But it's still happening, you know? <laughs> Right. And, and I'm going to talk about it because until right. the systems are more level, we should talk about it. And many women in, in the arts in general, as you just said, you know, we've been told that we're not this, we're not that. Mm -hmm. 
there somehow seems to always be um, too much and not enough when you're. Yeah, a woman. there's always a further <laughs> gate. Has been yeah. my experience as I as I've as I've grown older and I have more friends of varied backgrounds and success level and all those things. It's there's always another hurdle. It's like oh there's... well you've done that, but how about this thing? Oh well, yeah. you've done that thing, but this th and it's just never ending and it's yeah. always back on you. Yeah, that you need to further prove yourself. And yeah. I'm just like this is some kind of bullshit. So can we all just acknowledge like? you can continue to prove yourself or you can just opt out, yeah. which is where I'm at. It's like, I just do what I do. If it's not for you, it probably wasn't for you. Yeah. And that was a thing that really like grad school, I did not get that memo. It was all about conforming to a certain formula for success. And so I tried really hard to do whatever that was. Um, and later, much later, I realized most of the people there would never be into what I was creating. Right. So why do I care what they think of it? Yeah. I know something I started asking myself a few years ago, um, when I would get weird sort of slanted feedback mm -hmm. from the category of person we're talking about, <laughs> <laughs> which isn't always for the record, a white cis straight man there. No, those people can identify any way, but they're, yeah, they they're drinking the same punch. Yeah. You know? Or um, one of the system. things I started to ask myself when I would get weird feedback, and this was certainly true last year when I returned to my solo work for the first time in a long time, and I got a bunch of weird, oh, there's not mm -hmm. a man standing next to her. Now we can really <laughs> say it, you know, um, was what do I think about what this person's doing? You know, not only do I not have to take on what they think about me, but I gave so much power and still sometimes do accidentally and I have to catch myself. I gave so much power to the opinions of people. I don't care about their work. Right. And, and, and that's been important for me to clarify, right. like who are the people whose work I value and why, and, and can I communicate with those people and sort of make different circles for myself instead of going through these channels that are already defined by somebody else, by something else, Mm -hmm. And these people's feedback is not really actually personally of value to me. They're just the people who are standing at these particular gates, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. um, but giving those individuals less power by asking myself if I really value what they're doing has been kind of game changing, actually. Because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. um, as it turns out, not really. I don't mm -hmm. usually care about what that person is making or putting forth. Usually it's not much, you know? Yes, there's that too. I think having people whose opinion you value, regardless of their power or success or whatever rubric people are using for measurement, it's important. Like, I think that when I talk to younger people, I think that is like the one of the most important. Find your people yeah. who you trust yeah. about this. You might trust A other people thing. about something else. Yeah. Like, and you probably will. Um, those people are worth gold. Yeah. you know, and be so appreciative, <laughs> grateful to them. Yeah. Yes. Because mm -hmm. that's like, I was just having this conversation recently with someone and about notes and how, like, mm. if a person is good at giving notes, they literally tell you about the thing that was bugging you. You know, it's like, Oh yeah, that didn't feel right. And you can help me illuminate yeah. why it doesn't feel right. Sure. That's what you want. You know, yeah. you do not want, thank you, write a whole new song. Global feedback. <laughs> I know. I know. <laughs> oh, cool. Because I've written this song and this is the one I'm actually workshopping. Yeah. So I actually want notes on this song yeah. or this script or the, you know, and it's so there was a lot of that when I was getting an MFA. It's like, so yeah, if I, I was making this movie, like, great, you're not. So. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I didn't have that presence of mind to say that or the or the confidence I don't think yeah. to really stand behind that um I understand it takes time it does yeah um so any last um, thoughts before we wrap up I could talk to you for like hours but um, <laughs> we should no, probably wrap I just up. thank you for letting me sort of sort through my box of what I'm from and so cool. um yeah my poem ended up being a little bit more about what I'm from than where I guess although there mm -hmm. were a couple a couple location drops in there for people that know what I'm talking about but um there definitely was were. In, and very evocative it, ones thank you yeah it was an interesting thing I'm you know I'm 
my, the album I'm releasing this year is a memoir in songs. Um, and so it's, it's nice to be circling sort of mm -hmm. this area of my writing anyway. And I, I think that it, this poem prompt helped me to be able to talk about the album a little bit more clearly. Cause isn't that so part cool. of the work? It's like, we don't just get to make yeah. the work. We then have to clearly state what the work is and why we did it and what, what it's about. So um, yeah. The hardest part this, of the work yeah, for this me. This was right on time for me to be able to be like, mm -hmm. Yes, these are the, this is the structure. So. That's so wonderful. <laughs> I love hearing that, that it was helpful for you. Because I think that's the ultimate goal, right? Is that we use all these things and they're feeding us. And they're giving yeah. us, you know, things that we need. And I'm talking about the work is hard. It talking is hard. about ideation and what it all means is, because it's kind of magic. So it's hard yeah. to put words to that magic. It's hard sometimes. to break it down. Mm -hmm. um, and it was also a good exercise when you asked me to say yes. I, I'm so <laughs> like afraid of everything that I, my my gut instinct is always like, no, thank you, quietly. <laughs> well, I used some program on you. You didn't even know it. That's what was happening. Yeah. yeah. So I appreciate. So say yes. Yeah, I did, so, and I was like, I know. you know, I said yes, but you know, I always want to tell people I was just, I, I'm, I'm an upcoming guest on Stephanie Weaver's beautiful series, and, yeah, um, the Resilient wonderful. series, and I said a similar thing to her when she asked me. I said, you know, I'm not, um, not like the positivity parade. I just want to make sure that that's okay. You know, I want to show up authentically as who I am today mm -hmm. because that's part of my gift to myself today. It's not to fit myself into spaces that might not be in my shape, you know, sure. um, and whatever anybody else is working on, like your beautiful series and like Stephanie series. Um, it's okay if I'm not the right fit, but I just want to make sure that I'm telling people that I, I bring, some of my truths have little thorns, you know, <laughs> so I just want to... Not to me, they don't. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank I'm you. like, bring it on. Awesome. One of my previous guests, she sent me her first draft, and she said, is this too, um, what was the word she used? I'm going to forget, but it was like, is this too dark? Maudlin. She said, right. is this too maudlin? What a great was, word. Maudlin. Yeah, and it was, <laughs> I was like, you're asking the wrong person. Yeah. This is too maudlin. What's that? <laughs> I don't, I don't know what that is. Yeah. Bring it on. If yeah. you're, if you're feel enough comfort to say the words out loud, it is not too maudlin because yeah. that is a hurdle we face in ourselves. So yeah. Yeah. I did when I practiced reading it a couple of times, cause I thought, let me say this out loud before mm -hmm. I say it live. You know, I did cry and I, and I take that as a good sign. I cry when I write songs that end up being the ones that I, that I really record and and put forth and I always take that as like I hit I hit bone or something you know I agree I totally crying agree is a good mm -hmm. sign so mm -hmm. if the end of an essay isn't getting me a little bit choked mm -hmm. up or crying then I'm missing something yeah I feel same. like some mm -hmm. turn you know like there's more there so yeah so okay well this has been a joy <laughs> Wonderful. And we're wearing the same color. And I know. The What's happening? Gesture. This energy. <laughs> like we've known each other all our lives. Well, I look forward to when you do tour and I do get to see same. you. So. Same. Thank okay. you so much, Allison. Thank Wonderful you, to see Buick. you. What thank a pleasure. Okay. Me. And thanks to everyone who joined. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> Bye. Bye.